Today is Monday, November 7th, 2011. I have an application review for you here. Um, it was a request, iStat Menus 3. I've always watched people's YouTube videos. I've seen up in the top of their screen, they have, um, well, in the menu bar in OS 10, they have little monitors for their CPU cores or the CPU in general. Battery time, um, aside from the, the default OS 10 one, I've seen memory, hard disk usage, network usage, all of that different stuff that's an activity monitor. And I always kind of thought that was something that OS 10 should be able to do natively, but this is the application that uh, I think most of those people use. It's $16. You're going to have to decide if it's worth that price. Here's the link. I'll be sure to include that down below. You can also download, I think, what is just a free trial or a limited version here, but you can get the full one for $16. I'll go ahead and open it up, and uh, we'll see what it does. It's called iStat Menus, as I said before. Here it is. I'll move it up here. I'm going to have to zoom in on the top right corner of the screen, and it's, it's a little difficult to do. Uh, I'm using... ScreenFlow 3, and I can't actually zoom in on that without it cutting up top of it for some reason. So this is what we're going to have to deal with. But as we can see, this is just the main uh, window of the application here. And then we've got all these toggle switches, similar to those found in iOS 4 and earlier, uh, to be able to turn on the different things that we see up on our taskbar. So if we turn on the CPU switch, there is one uh, CPU um, I guess, graph that we have going in the top of the screen. If we click on CPU, we can come in here and uh, show one per each core. This is a hyper-threaded quad-core Intel i7 um, in the MacBook Pro. And we can see the graph for each individual core, or we can just average everything out into one. Depending on how much space you have up there, you might just want to do that. Uh, I'll turn that off. We'll turn on memory, and we'll be able to see what that looks like. It's just a little gauge there that shows us how much memory we have free. We can change our updated free our update frequency all the way up to 10 seconds and down to 0.5. I think that holds true with most everything that you can have an update frequency with. Here's our disk usage. We can turn that on. Uh, if we click on these, I, I will add, we get a lot more information. We can see each hard disk that's plugged in, how much space we have available. If we come over here to memory, click on that, uh, we can see how much we have free. And then the top users of the RAM, which is iTunes, Java, ScreenFlow, MDS, and the Windows Server. Uh, turn on CPU again, and we can see uh, each graph individually, what's using the most CPU, load averages, uptime, stuff like that. Um, so there are a lot of different settings. It really goes above and beyond with the information it shows you. So I think that's where they're justifying the $16 pr price point. On uh, disk activity here, we have a little I.O. graph, red and, and green, for how much uh, data the disk is reading and writing. Uh, come up here, we get some detailed graphs and information on bytes per second. If we start doing stuff uh, real quickly, it does uh, filter over to megabytes per second, so it's easier to see. Network, we'll turn this on. This is just going to be network usage. There's the IP and stuff like that, uh, which I probably will have to block. Peak bandwidth, as you can see, I haven't done much. Bandwidth, and then how much we've um, downloaded and uploaded since I turned the computer on. Sensors, this is very similar to SMC fan control, except we can't actually control the fans, but it does tell us how quickly the fans are running, the temperature of the CPU die, the battery, uh, battery location one and two, it's got everything in here. Different fan speeds, right and left, since this is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, battery voltage and, and all that good information there. Turning that off, date and time, battery, those are things that OS X can do. I don't know why you'd use them here. Uh, but they are here. If we turn on multiple things here, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, we can kind of use the inactive items and drag them up here. And um, this is like an, a little interactive menu here that we can totally customize all of this up here. Since we can't actually move them in the taskbar, we'll move them down here. And moving them here moves them up there, if that makes any sense. We've even got a pie chart for our memory now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, very customizable. You can have whatever you like, whatever you don't want up there, you can remove. So that's pretty nice. It, but you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you. Is this a $16 application? Is it something that you want to be able to keep an eye on at all times, your CPU and RAM and whatever you want to throw up there? Uh, for me, quite honestly, no. I don't think it is worth $16. I can come down here and do Activity Monitor and get just about all of that information that I'm ever going to want. Uh, of course, with the power to actually kill a process, inspect, and sample them. So, so that's nice. Uh, but I, if this is what you're looking for, then I don't think there's a better uh, application that is 
more customizable and easy to do this with. So I would recommend it if you are seriously looking for something to do that with. I will note that uh, this company, I think it's the same thing, iStat Menus, they've got this thing. I believe it's called the iStat Pro Widget. It's over here in the dashboard in OS 10. It's got a lot of that information and it is free. No uh, $16 charge with this one. Lots of that info, but again, it is not uh, up in the bar at the top, so you can't always see it. That's my review. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you have it? You like it? Is it worth 16 bucks? Um, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. If, uh, if you like what you see here, you might want to check out our site, techinform.us. Lots of tech news there. And then we have a podcast in iTunes. Colt and Mike are doing a phenomenal job editing it. It is called Tech In 5. It's on our website, techinform.us. Links down below, as well as Twitter. Um, you can find us there, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz, and Tech Inform Us for our site. Again, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in tomorrow's video.